Hello and welcome back for a third time. This is Milo34 again. Uh, if you don't know what's going on and you're just joining us, uh, this is the creation aspect of this three section mod for pretty much, or not mod, three section instructional how to on everything Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas related for modification. What I mean is, all this stuff right here that you see is going to have to do with mods and uh, modding. If this is what you're looking for, the creation aspect, which is Zmodeler and Text Workshop, watch this video, stay in here. If not, click either over here or over here, and you'll be taken directly back to the first video where um, it'll run you through all the stuff that you need to know. All the tools uh, and stuff you're going to need to download to do uh, any and all three of these, um, yeah, all three of these sections, or any one of them, and whatever. <laughs> all right, so creation. Uh, I got everything laid out on the desktop, but again, I'm gonna go back to. Uh, GTA, not GTA, Gamefront. Um, as you've seen in my prior video at Gamefront, I downloaded tools, San Andreas and modding. My uh, page again is www.gamefront.com slash files slash user slash Milo34. Uh, yeah, like I said, you're going to want to download tools of GTA San Andreas modding. Click here, go quicker, blah blah blah. Open it, yes. I'm uh, running off Firefox if uh, you don't know what Internet Explorer this is. There we go. Inside Tools of Modding, what you're going to see is TXD File Editing Tools. And this right here is for the creation aspect. Also, Spark SA, it has an interesting feature. It allows you to edit texts as well. And not text as in word, but TXD as in texture. So, what you're going to see applied on your model. IFP editing tool and uh, the other part of the image file uh, editing tools are both going to be found back in um, the first video. And it's going to link you out to, um, you know, uh, both of them, IFP being the animation one, image file editing tools being the installation one, and that's going to have to be the last video that I'm going to do, because I'm going to show you how to install an animation, uh, a uh, model mod, which is the car mod that I'm going to be building and showing you how to build in Modeler, as well as tips and tricks. For the entire thing. This video is going to be really long, so I'm going to fast forward through a lot of the stuff. So you're going to see me do everything at really fast speeds. I'm also going to throw in um, informational bubbles. I'm going to pop up at the bottom. Uh, going to probably do that in the other two videos as well. But um, you know, just just a heads up for you guys. So yeah. Um, again. Put this tools of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas modding somewhere where you're going to remember. Because you're going to be needing to come back to this for almost every modding thing that you're going to need to um, do or know. Or install. Alright. <laughs> so, uh, open up Text Workshop. And uh, after exporting with an image, uh, one of the two tools from image uh, files, image tool, whatever, uh, you're going to extract, you know, whatever model you're going to want to edit. This is the text workshop part of the video, so if, um, you know, you, you don't want to watch the model creation part and you're not into actually making a uh, model mod you know just 
stop watching after the text workshop thing. Uh, if you're running Vista, you're going to have to run this tool as an administrator. Uh, if not, if you don't want to do that, you're going to have to turn it off of the administration feature. And there's a video for that somewhere in my favorites. I'll link that in the description as well. Alright, so to start off, we have this guy right here, our buffalo wheel, which is the default wheel that you see on uh, the buffalo, which is the car I'm going to be editing today. And inside, this is the buffalo interior, this is the interior of the buffalo. Um, you know, I'm not really going to be doing any of this. Uh, I'm not going to edit any of this in the first version. The first version is just going to be pretty basic, and I'm going to try and make it look a little bit more like an edited... Um, Ford Mustang that I seen on the back of a truck being transported somewhere that came out of the United States. It was a really sick uh, custom build from Scene or not Scene, but some company. I, I can't remember the name right now because this has been uh, preoccupying me for the last two or three hours trying to get the uh, perfect edit. Anyways, uh, when you go, I'll do that again. You go image, new. 32 BPP if you wish to add an image. If you don't wish to add an image and you just want to replace this guy with this guy right here and then, you know, make the wheel look different on the uh, buffalo or make the interior look different or uh, edit to your skin for your character, you can export this BMP to the desktop. I'm going to need to do this anyway, so I might as well right now. Your texture files. Then you can edit either in Paint or whatever other tool you want to make it look nice. So, uh, in here, what did I call the thing? When you are, yeah, that's that's pretty much all you guys need to know for that. You can just file and save after for a text workshop stuff. Uh, text workshop tutorial is pretty much done now. Um, you know, stick around for my crazy long Z modeler video that I'm going to be cutting down and fast forwarding through. 80% of, you know, playing music for you guys, whatever. Yeah. So, uh, it's important that when you are creating a text, um, TXD, uh, mod that corresponds with something in ZModeler, that you name the file the exact same as the picture. In this case, it's Milo34EXTRAS. Um, I'm not going to turn on the alpha right now because I don't know if I'm going to be needing an alpha. Probably will. Actually, I'm going to. Now that I think about it. And uh, I'm going to compress it. Compression is very important. If you don't do compression, your um, image won't look proper. It's really weird. Alright. We have everything set up in there. We're set for uh, this part. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to open it up again to make sure that it looks proper because occasionally with Text Workshop you have um, the issue where it won't import properly and it will just look really weird. Like it, it, it just, you know, it doesn't look the way it should or the colors will be all off or it'll be pixelated or something stupid. <coughs> Alright, so as you can see, uh, it did import properly. The alpha mask right here has not been created yet which is the clearness setting. White is um, opaque, clear, completely clear is black. Uh, so, you know, when this is in the game right now, everything that would be added to the car would not be seen because it's all black. Because everything is going to be con uh, corresponding with the everything text. But, um, you know, getting ahead of myself again. This is not needed now. And nor is this because I already saved. So let's open up a Z modeler uh, file. Let's. I'm gonna have to start fresh here. Oh wait, no, I don't need to do that. I already opened one. Awesome. Okay. With Text Workshop, it is very important that you export the generic .txt all of its contents into one folder. Uh, and the reason for that is so that when you go into ZModeler, you are able to import all the images at once. 
all the default images that the cars use or else